This video is sponsored by gPortal. I host my servers with them and you can too. Save 5% with the link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. Hey everybody, Valheim released a new patch today for the Frost Caves and over on Twitter they tweeted, We hope you're ready to go exploring. The Frost Caves are now officially in Valheim. And they released this really cool image along with the update here, which looks like it's done with similar animation style as the Hearth and Home trailer. And yep. This looks really cool and really reminiscent of what you'll see inside the actual frost caves. They say the frost caves have thawed Vikings. This blog post wraps up Valheim's anniversary month and we want to summarize it for those who have missed it. Earlier this month, we released a fireside chat where CEO lead designer Richard, lead artist Robin, and community manager Josephine discuss the past, present, and future of Valheim. They talk a bit about the process of hearth and home the possibilities that come with more hands on deck, and how the work on the Mislins is going. If you haven't watched it already or want to watch it again, you can do so here. And yep, just go to their YouTube channel, One Year of Valheim Fireside Chat. And then they go on to say, we also hosted our first stream of our Twitch channel where Robin gave an insight on how the process of designing an item might look by creating an anniversary tankard from scratch. And I have a video that covers the new celebration horn. This tankard was also added to the game and is available for everyone. You can find and watch a recording of the stream here. And that's over on Twitch and they released it on their YouTube channel. Now that stream is... Uh, uh, an hour and a half long, but I did create a short condensed version. And then also I have a second video showing the actual horn in game. Then they go on to say, last but not least, the frost caves have finally arrived. Are you brave enough to venture into their depths? And will you find your way out before the inhabitants get you? This update also comes with a brand new event involving one of the new creatures. How will you defend yourself and your base from these fiends? And again, here's the picture that they released over on Twitter. And I just want to give a quick plug for Grimfrost. I'm an ambassador and I really love all the cool stuff they've got here. have got thousands of different Viking products. And if you're into some cool Viking stuff, you should come and check them out. Use my link in the description. This update also includes full controller support and an option to pause in single player and some other optimization settings. You want to say when Valheim was released to early access over a year ago, we also released a roadmap, which sadly we had to cancel in May. On that canceled road trip, we had an update called Cult of the Wolf. While we're no longer calling it that, these frost caves are essentially that update. That's pretty cool that they were able to push the content for the frost caves out while they're still working on mislins. We love the feeling of exploration and surprise that Valheim can give. We've been cautious with spoilers and only allowed a small group to try our content updates before release. With the release of the mountain update, we wanted to try a different approach. The mountain update was available on our public test branch before going live for everyone. And we want to thank everyone who gave feedback and found bugs that might otherwise have made it into the updates release. If you want to participate in future public testings, please head over to their Discord server or on their forum here on Steam for more information. Keep in mind that public test is for testing, so don't be surprised if you find bugs or less balanced things. Of course, we can't have a blog post without a teaser of what's to come. Last time we showed you a piece of concept art of an enemy that you'll meet in Mislins, and we thought we would follow up the theme of flora and fauna and show you something else that will inhabit the Mistlands. Right here, these two little ears sticking up. What could it be? Boom! Check that out, a kind of a scaly bunny rabbit. I wonder if this thing is a cross between a serpent and a, a hare or a rabbit or something. Wonder what it will do. Is it aggressive? Is it tameable? Will it provide some kind of new meat for new recipes? Interesting, but cool. More cute little furry animals is always welcome. And they go on to say, we also want to share this other lovely piece of concept art made by our concept artist, which greatly captures the feeling we want to achieve in these strange lands. What do you think you'll find in the mists? And here's this shot of the mist lands that they have released here. And I created a separate video that shows this image uh, zoomed in. We take a really close look at all the details in it. Link should be at the 
top of the video here. And then they also honor the build of the month, which is something that they've talked about doing. So in our last blog post, we mentioned that we're going to introduce build of the month and the time has come for us to present the build we chose for this month. This was made by Kit the Viking and really stood out to us. Take a look at this build. Wow, that is super cool. Yeah, so it looks like it's a boat dock with a really cool house built over it or maybe multiple houses like almost like a little village and then the spiral staircase that takes you up there and it looks like some more things off to the side but yeah congratulations to kit the viking that's really cool and they go on to say if you want to partake for a chance to put your building skills on display head on over to twitter instagram or facebook post a picture using the hashtag valheim B-O-T-M for Build of the Month. We want to once again thank you for this fantastic year and all of your support and feedback. And we're excited to see what our second year will bring. And if you're interested in reading all about the individual patch notes, they have posted those on their Steam page. And if you'd like to see a video on it, I have a video that covers the patch that was on the public test beta. Link will be at the top and they're almost exactly the same. All the big important features are anyways. And if you're looking to get more content out of Valheim, you should consider playing on a multiplayer server. Come and check out my servers. Go to jirokttheviking.com and you can learn all about it. Submit an application. Or if you just want to hang out with my community, we have over a thousand people over on Discord having a great time. Very friendly, very mature community. And you can get there by going to discord.gg slash jirokttheviking. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters, some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers, links can be found in the description below. Skull.